in this video we are going to discuss about using the command line interface CLI mode. So after the iOS has finished loading up it will ask you to press return button. So while waiting for the you to press the return button it will display the information of every interface as shown below. You can see that they are 1, 2, 3 and 4 interfaces and out of 4 2 are down and 2 are administratively up and you can also see the ethernet 0 slash 0, 0 slash 1 are active and you can see that this interface 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 are down. So this is the information of the interfaces shown after the loading up process while waiting for the return button to be pressed is shown here and you can see once you press enter you will arrive to the router greater than prompt button. So here you can see if the router has a startup conflict with authentication of password then it will prompt you to enter the username and password to access the router. So for new ISR Cisco, so Cisco ISR uh, routers it will ask you for username and password. So basically for Cisco switches and routers the password would be the username would be Cisco and the password also would be Cisco. So the text before the greater than sign is the host name that means you see router greater than prompt. So here router is the host name or the router information given here clearly and you can see here the CLI of the iOS is divided into different modes. So what are these modes and under these modes what we can do. So basically there are two to three kinds of modes. So the first one is privilege mode, executable mode and also global configuration mode. So you can see the character after the host name of the device tells you which mode you are in. So here the greater symbol tells you that you are in the user executable mode or the level 1 mode. So here you cannot do any changes here. So you have to the mostly use about for the statistics here to get the statistics of the router. So what are the interfaces, what are the memory details, everything will be viewed in this user executable mode. You cannot view the and edit the, the configuration of the device here. You can see here router enable automatically the greater sign has changed to the hash sign here. So after that to close the session you have to use the logout command you have to you have to enter logout and press enter it will log you out of the router and you can see you have to disable if you if you if you enter disable after the slash in that configuration mode and it will come back to normal level 1 user executable mode at the privilege executable mode you can view the configuration only and statistics related to every component so here it is clear that in the privileged user executable mode you can only see the configuration details and all about the statistics of every component available on the device and if you see if you are able to make changes to configuration of the device you need to go into the global configuration mode. So here global configuration mode is used to, cha to make changes using the configure terminal command and it can be only viewed in privileged mode because you see here the configure terminal enters and enter the configuration command per one line and with control Z. So this is in the config mode. When you enter this configure terminal, you, you can see clearly in the bracket it is in the configuration mode. Here you can do changes, but the changes will only get saved when you save it to the startup config. If it is in the running configuration file, whenever the router boots up, the details will be erased from the memory. So you can see here you have to remember three things about global configuration mode here. The three things are all changes affect only in the running configuration until and unless you reboot the server the running configuration is not going to work here. You have to save it in the startup configuration. So you have to start you have to save it in the con startup configuration to make permanent changes when it is only saved in running configuration as soon as your uh, router gets boots up or restarts the running configuration details will be erased and this will be back to normal whatever it is saved in the startup configuration file. All changes are immediate on the device. So whatever changes you made on the device are immediate and again here the criteria that you have to get saved that to the startup configuration until and unless it has to be permanent. The global configuration mode has sub modes. So here the global configuration modes also have sub modes. While some changes can be made in the global configuration mode some have to only get used the sub modes to change the configuration of the components of the devices. So what are the sub modes and how the sub modes are used to change the configuration. 
we will be discussing about this in the next video